Really common desert landforms to talk about are arroyos, alluvial fans, playas, and this concept of a bajada. Um, so I want to talk about that here just because it's much easier to talk about them all together than as these individual um, landforms. Okay, so here I've got the series of little mountains, little hills, and what I'm trying to denote with the purple line is what's called the mountain front. So if you've ever stood and looked across and seen a mountain, basically when you're standing out in the valley and you say, oh wow, that looks steep, that's the mountain front. Okay, so here we go, mountain front. So what's important about that is that it's really steep here and then out here we're going to get into kind of flat valley. Um, all right, so our arroyos are just a way to say it's a desert drainage. They have certain specific things about them that are unique. They tend to produce flash floods because it's really dry in the desert. So when it does rain, the water does not like to infiltrate in. It runs over the landscape very quickly. It fills these valleys or these arroyos very quickly and you get lots of erosion um, and lots of transportation really fast. Um, so that's what makes them special, why we don't just call them valleys. So our arroyos are going to be up in here and I'm just going to take this first one and say, okay, so picture this canyon uh, that's being cut down. All right, so there's my arroyo. Now what's going to be happening is the water will be flowing relatively quickly and then it's going to hit the mountain front and it's going to flatten out. And so since it's not steep any longer, um, the velocity is going to drop. So let's write that here. So water velocity drops right there. And so now it's no longer going to be able to hold the water. It's not going to be able to hold that material any longer. And so what will happen is you might be getting a really coarse material that's dumping out of there just because the water velocity slows. And then maybe we've got, slows down some more. So we've got some medium material slows down even more. Okay, so now we've got some fine material. So that would be like one event and not quite that linear, but you get the idea. And then another event would come along and it's going to go off to one of the sides. And so as the water slows down, it drops off the big, the medium and the fine stuff. You have more and more events that keep doing the same thing. and just kind of sweeps back and forth, back and forth. And what you end up creating is a feature that looks like this, where you tend to have three bands of material. Well, at least for our purposes, we're putting into three. Um, it's really more gradational, but you have coarse, and then you have medium grain stuff, and then you have fine grain stuff. Okay? And so this whole feature here is called an alluvial fan. So let's put that in green. I'm going to outline that. So that whole thing, it's all made of the material from this arroyo. That is called an alluvial fan. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so um, the water does not magically just dry up at the end there. Oftentimes the water will carry out beyond that. So some of the water will come here and maybe it makes it to the ocean. That is possible. Um, but oftentimes in desert environments, you have what are called closed basins. So the water has nowhere to go. And so it's just going to go to a low spot. So let's just say that low spot is in here. It's going to drain out and you're going to form a body of water that we are actually going to call a Playa Lake. Now, it's a desert. There's not going to be a lot of moisture coming in, so it's very common for these to dry out. And so that's where the, where the idea of a playa comes in. So this playa lake will have a lot of ions in it and maybe some clays and silts and things like that. And then as it dries out, it just leaves these lake beds behind. And those lake beds we just call playas. So the wet version, playa lake, when it dries, so dry equals playa. All right, so that's the relationship between them. We have material carried by the arroyo, dumped out when it loses its velocity um, to be able to form an alluvial fan. And then as the water continues to collect somewhere and then dry out, we get evaporites. As the water evaporates away, we get these salts left behind and maybe some mud, um, some silt and clay left behind also. And that would be um, called our playa. Now, 
The last kind of term that I promised to talk about, something called the bajada. So what will happen is you often don't just have one alluvial fan. You get these fans that form all along the mountain front. So you get like another one here and then another one over here and they start to overlap. So you kind of get this like apron of fans that are forming um, and that whole apron of fans, like that collection we call a B-A-J-A-D-A, Bajada. So, so that's it. Hopefully that helped.